Welcome back guys, this is Tekiko and this is my first time doing this video of what I do for a living. Today's topic is how to install geezer the right way. First of all we're going to start off with this pipe. It's the main water coming in to the house, not the geezer, the house. It goes through this pressure valve. It's 400 kilopascal, so it lowers the pressure. Now this pipe, small one here at the top, it is, if the pressure gets too high, it releases excess pressure through this pipe. So always keep that open. Uh, so it goes through this valve. Now the pressure is lower. This T here is now the cold water for the whole entire house. Of course, so just let me just move this before it falls down. Yeah. So then after the valve, you get the main cold water supply for the whole house, which most people do. Yes, they do this. Now you have cold water here and then the geyser water going there, which is actually quite wrong because now the hot water and the cold water is off balance because now the cold water has got more pressure. So that's why I say do it this way because now the water pressure is equivalent. And yes. Then of course, I here goes the stop block. And then we get to the geyser itself, as you can see. Um, just lower this a bit so you can see. Okay. Now you have the the, the stop cock. The stop cock is if you have to do service in the future on the geyser, then you can just close the stop cock and the house still has cold water. So as you can see, this pipe comes down. It's the cold water. It goes in here. This is a drain cock. Um, I mean, if you want to, you can leave the drain cock, but you can have a hard time draining the geyser then. So it's actually really important. But yes, cold water goes in by the drain cock at the bottom. Please, guys, remember cold water always at the bottom, never the top. So then, we just bring the camera around here. Okay, there you can see now properly, there's the drain cock. You open this if you need to drain the geyser. You just close it. I always keep in mind that the cold water comes down, directly down without any fittings. Thermostat with the elements in here. So yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Then I have this green thing. They call it a vacuum breaker. So what happens if you close your if you close off your main water tap of the whole house, the vacuum breaker just empties out the pipes and the geyser stays full. Without the vacuum breaker, if it's just like that, your geyser is going to be emptying out himself because it's going to pull air through the hot side. And as you know, the hot side is higher than the cold water and that's of course why the geyser drains itself. Let's continue to this side. Okay. This is the hot water. Hot water is always at the top. Sometimes they sit sometimes they sit over here. Sometimes they sit over here. So if you get the geyser and you have this at the top, you know hot water top get the geyser where both of these are here. So the top is one is hot. So this one's cold. I mean this one's safety valve. Okay, sorry for that guys. As I was hot water always at the top unless if you have two holes here. The the, the half bottom one is the safety valve which is this very important on the geyser and then the hot would be at the top. You would see the hot side also has a vacuum breaker. It does exactly the same thing. It's to air out the pipes so the geyser can stay full. You 
these things are very important. This is the pipe going to hot water, of course, for the whole entire house. Let's get to the safety valve. This is the safety valve. Now, I always point them a bit skewed downwards and always put a pipe. Do not close this. If you close this, well, I'm sorry, you won't have a house the next day. So now the water just goes out there when the pressure releases pressure. So the pressure is too high, it opens up. So please keep this open. Make sure this gets maintenance. I mean, it's very important. This this is uh, also 400 kilopascal. This geyser is a 400 kilopascal. So that's as much as pressure it can takes. Uh, if you put a 600 on, well, I guess it's also a bye bye geyser. <laughs> so yes, just make sure you guys do it the right way. I mean, yes, this is only a demonstration, so everything is dry fitted, of course, because I'm going to use it later on at some other place, because I mean this geyser is not full, filled up with water. Uh, the reason why this geyser is standing here is because it burst. I will do a different video on that, why this geyser burst. Very interesting video there, that's going to be. Um, one more thing before I leave this video, if you want to put this pipe, I mean if you want to put the geyser upright, you know, so that, that goes to the bottom, not this, that goes to the bottom. The only changes you do then is you change these things around. Hot water, it's always at the top, remember this. The safety valve goes on here then lower okay safety valve hot water for the house it's only if you install the geyser like that if you don't safety valve on that side that some geysers they don't have the top one some has the top one but it will be here then at the top for the hot water and the safety valve um, I have seen, I'll put a picture up, which the people, picture will be here, which the person who installed the geyser did it the wrong way around. So the hot water is here, cold water is here. It's the wrong way. I mean, uh, we're still figuring out how we can uh, solve that problem without, which is cost effective. Um, yes, um, of course, the skeezer has its brackets, yeah, it has screws on all the sides, so if you, if this is going to be against the wall, you remove the brackets, put it here, if it's going to stand like this, brackets bottom, that side, same story, and guys, please, they made these things for a reason, so you don't have to install it the wrong way around. So, yes, that's how to install, install a geyser the right way. Um, I will do a video on types of safety valves and how they work. Uh, vacuum breakers, uh, there's not much to say about them. It's just um, when, they, when they need to suck up air, they suck up. And when the water's in, they close themselves. So the water can't get out. I'm also going to do a video on the pressure valves different types of pressure valves uh, pressure then of course I'm gonna do a video on why the skis are burst very interesting video you must stay tuned to this what I normally do another tip what I do when I install geyser I always use these Konex fittings against the geyser because in future reference if something happens to the geyser Plumber comes, you just need to open these things. Cost effective to put in a new one because, like, some, like, for example, now, okay, let's say you get a new geyser, the hot water's not at the top. So you just break this, lie the pipe, pipe and voila. I mean, that's like what? That's little money that. 
where if you solder it to the geezer and shit it's gonna be a lot of cutting work to do and sol soldering and everything and then I've got one more thing before I say goodbye to you guys if you want me to make a video on where we fill up this geezer uh, it does it does take water it just doesn't hold water because it leaks out but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter for video demonstration purposes it will help us for that so I'm gonna fill it if I get a hundred thousand likes on this video and a hundred subscribers I'll fill this geezer up with my pool water uh, put the safety put everything on right way uh, connect main water to this geezer then we can remove the pressure valve and see what happens to the safety valves and then we could put the pressure valve back on and see if what happens to the safety valves again and of course pressure it's more like a pressure test we could say or we can almost call it like a play thing we can do but this was now my demonstration of how I install a geezer or that's how I install a geezer um, I don't know how you people do it this is a Franken geezer or a Franco, I don't know sure what they call it. It's 150 liter geezer. Uh, big enough for five people. I mean, you don't need to go for 200 liter unless if you're more than five people. Um, 100 liter, waste of money to be honest. I mean, there's only like $200 difference between the two where I am from. So. That's why I say if you have 100 liter, put 150. If you have 200 and you're only three people, put 150. Uh, if you're more than six, okay, then put 200 because then your water will be too little. So yeah, 150. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, 100, no, 50,000 likes and 100 subscribers, and we will fill up this bad boy. And yes, this video coming up, why this geezer burst, pressure valves, safety valves, um, maybe, like you say, there's not much to say about vacuum breakers, but I can do a video on that. So yeah, I, go, go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one. Take it out.